that was great. The next one, probably my favorite drill. To get you to rotate with the body, you're gonna do six kicks, the one hand in front. You're gonna come up to the top at this 12 o'clock position, shake your hand over the top. Make sure you come up to the string. The string is coming from the shoulder straight up right here and then over. Six kicks on one side, then to the other. You can take your snorkels off for this if you want to or you can leave them on, either way. All right, here we go, group one. Six kick, one stroke drill, ready? The six kick one stroke drill, pausing the hand at the top of the recovery to demonstrate a relaxed wrist, is one of the most transformative drills we teach at the race club camps. This drill teaches swimmers two very important freestyle techniques, body rotation and a relaxed wrist on the recovery. By placing an imaginary string from the shoulder to the sky, marathon swimmer Lexi Kelly brings her elbow upward to the string with each arm recovery, forcing her to be on her side. By doing so first on one side, then the other, her body must rotate completely. Learning to relax the hand and wrist on the recovery is another important part of this drill. Swimmers that keep the wrist stiff or the fingers clenched together on the recovery cannot recover their arm muscles for the next pull nearly as well as Lexi does with her relaxed wrist recovery. It's not the position on her side that makes Lexi a faster swimmer. It's the quick rotation of her body to the opposite side occurring during her underwater pull that makes her pull more powerful. The next drill is a straight six kick one stroke drill as shown by world champion Junya Koga. In this drill, Junya does the same freestyle recovery without stopping at the top with his hand. In one variation of this drill, Junior skulls with his hand in front rather than leaving it still. Junior then progresses to a six kick three stroke drill using the same arm recovery motion, the same body rotation, and the same wrist relaxation for three successive strokes, followed by six kicks on his side. Using these three drills in progression, you can transform your stroke into a stronger, more efficient technique, leading to a faster freestyle.